It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills on Monday night. Known for some incredible wings and one of the league's most passionate fan bases. We're just outside of Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. And everybody, thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer. But someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Ball teed up. Logan Cook out for the kick. And off we go from Highmark Stadium. Ty Johnson now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to. And just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with the pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. And he's brought down at the line. Call it no gain on that run and they face second and 10. Another one for Cook. And he'll go down after pitching this up to the 29. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Complete the It's a 26-yard pick up there. And that's good for Bill's first down. Move the chains! They move their chains! Four momentum. Keep that defense on its heels. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Out of the option, he's going to keep it going right. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. I can promise you, that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. From the 42. Well, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He'll get this to Samuel. He's tackled with a first down yardage. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Good opening drive to this point. They've got another first down at the 34. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Mm, he misfired on that one. It's behind his man. No luck finding his receiver that time. 
And it sets up second down. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's going to take this only to about the 31. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up 37. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Shakir in motion right. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. He couldn't get anything there, and now it's second and goal. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. But, Kate, when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And, in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And now they're left with third and goal. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. To the air again, Allen. Escapes out to the left. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. This is a chip shot from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Bass now to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. Good look in return here, and he's got room. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out in his fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. The numbers from a season ago for Trevor Lawrence, pretty emblematic of that up and down season for Jacksonville. Over 4,000 yards, 21 touchdowns. With 14 interceptions has got to be cleaned up for this team to play above the 500 ball they did a year ago. Trevor's athleticism, Trevor's arm is off the charts. Now he and his team got to put it all together consistently. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and 10, it's Lawrence. Well, wheeled in by Thomas. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. For a good pickup. They're set up with second and short. Here's Travis Etienne on the ground. And he's brought down for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. And with a negative play, well, now it comes a critical third down. All plays on the table here for third and three. 
Florence working from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And this one does not go far. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and it netted some positive yards. Lawrence now off the play action. starting to unravel a little bit even after just two possessions a touchdown here could really continue that momentum towards an early runaway here comes the bills offense for their second drive of the game and the last drive did end in points not as many as they wanted though they had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Oh, put some heat on this deep ball, left side. There was a window there for a bit. The boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Back to the air, Allen, complete to Shakir. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Third and six for them to figure out now. An early drop of the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. So we jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. After the penalty, third and a yard coming up. Running it after the penalty. Jukes one defender. They get there to take him down right around the 41. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. Going to the ground again on first. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Can't get it to him. Incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. That's caught for the first. That one goes for 25 yards. And that's good for Bill's first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners is receiving. 
receivers, but also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stuff is made. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Shotgun, it's Allen. That one's incomplete in the end zone. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Escapes the pocket. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Well, there was no sense in taking the risk down the field when the first down was just a run away. They'll get to reset now and figure out just how they want to attack a new set of downs. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. It's second and goal. He gets two on that run. That brings up third and goal. Where well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. They just get the playoff. And that is how our first quarter will end as that pass falls incomplete. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Just a field goal separates these two. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. Angling this one in from the right hash, the challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on a shorter attempt. And another field goal makes it 6 nothing for him. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time but he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field. That's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Kick this away. Devin Duvernay to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. Second drive of the game upcoming for this Jaguar offense. And they'll take over facing a 6-0 deficit. Set first and ten. Davis, the motion man, right. On first and ten, here's Lawrence. Davis there to grab it. And this one gets to the 33 yard line before it stops. Short. 
Man in motion headed right. Here's second and two. Finding Davis. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's a Jaguar first down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now give this up the middle of the ETN. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. They're set up at the 35 now. Trying an option play, left side on first down. And he's brought down for a loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Complete had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Out of the gun, Lawrence. As that one falls incomplete, all oh, eyes shifting to the flag that was thrown. If it's defensive, we got a first down here. He got too aggressive to try and stop that play, and they tag him for pass interference. Receiver in motion going left. On first and ten, here's Lawrence. Quick hitter complete. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the gun, ETN gets it. That's a big hole left. And he's finally brought down at the nine. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. So now after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Out of the gun, Lawrence. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars tie and can take the lead here in the second. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scorers than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they could be a difference maker, he'll look for them. Cam Little to try the extra points. That 
one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. To kick this away. Starting from the five. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. The drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll start this series with an option left. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. When they draw up these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, Put a seed of doubt and thought into that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time. First and ten. Here's Allen. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there, you're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That finds his man, it's Keon Coleman. And a nice game here, but it stops short of the first. Third and just two to go. We've got a fumble pretty close to midfield. Jets pick it up. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. So that was holding on the offense, and a quick declination from the defense means this stands as a turnover. First down, Brock, from the 43. Lawrence now off the play action. Got a man, it's Thomas. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on first down? And a fresh set of downs on its way. That's one of those plays, Kate, where every position on the offense gets a gold star. They all did their job, enough protection to allow the quarterback time to find his receiver who went all the way from the right side of the field to the left side of the field to do some damage. Here's Etienne on first down. And that tackle stops him after a solid gain. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up.
Just a great effort there from Embrock to take it upon himself, embrace the initiative, and turn that drive into six. You know, Kate, there was a day when you were watching Steve Young, Randall Cunningham, and that felt like a bonus touchdown. <laughs> but that's not today. It feels like every quarterback's got to be able to score, be a dual threat on the ground. It's part of an offense every single team relies upon. On his little for the extra point. The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick this away. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now after that return, we've got an injured player getting some assistance as we momentarily step aside. They're out and set, first and ten. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners, too. Second and ten now. That's incomplete left side. Well, that throw, Kate, pretty clean out of his hand. Just looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. No connection on the last play. And out's third down. Ready from the gun, it's Allen. Yeah, this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands. Couldn't hang on, it's gonna be fourth down. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two in third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So no return on that punt. And it'll be Jaguars football. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Etienne to begin the drive. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Second down now, seven to go. Now Lawrence on the play fake. plays like this Brock sometimes you just gotta ask your dude show me what you got man show off those wheels and he did just that yeah beauty in simplicity right yeah when you run that fly route you gotta win right from the jump uh -huh. and you gotta protect yourself from the sideline too don't get pushed to the boundary give your quarterback room to throw it up and you can find pay dirt On his little for the extra point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Return starts at the nine. Find some space. He's past the 30. And he brought this one almost to midfield before he's tackled. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear, hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. Allen now on first down. Escapes out to the left. He's going to keep it this time. It's a pick up of 14 yards as the chains reset. That is so demoralizing for a defense. You lock things down in coverage. You do everything right on the back end, only to see the quarterback escape, evade the pressure, and get that first down anyway. Ugh. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. Connect on first, it's second down. Back to the air, Allen. That one falls incomplete, but our attention still behind the line. He got clean after that throw and drew the instant flag. Man, there's no way around this, Brock. They had that offense exactly where they wanted them. And the penalty gives him a whole lot more breathing room. Yeah, I'm thinking of the late great Dennis Green. He said it perfectly. We had him right where we wanted, and we let him up the hook. <laughs> and he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. From the 24. Connection made to Coleman. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. They'll come up first and 10. Shakir in motion right. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills could make it a one-score game as they cut it to nine before half. Keon Coleman, the touchdown. Well, great work there, Rock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Turn starts at the five. 
And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Jaguars headed out on offense late in this first half. And up by eight, not expecting them to get too aggressive this close to halftime. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Lawrence working from the gun. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. From the shotgun, Lawrence finding Davis. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down throw, Lawrence. set for the Bills. Third down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That's caught for the first. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. are not afraid to take a shot on any given snap. And with enough looks, eventually, one's going to connect. Lawrence trying to get on second. Chased out to his right. Oh, that just sucks the wind out of a defense. So demoralizing. So many guys do things the right way. We need to see a quarterback evade the pressure and go get that first down anyway. Cam Little now to try the Jags field goal. On the right hash, this is going to be a 41-yarder. And he missed it. It's no good. And this stays a one-score, eight-point game. So it's halftime, and the visiting Jaguars have played themselves to a nice little lead thus far. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both these teams ready for the fight ahead, we're ready to get back to it as well. And to do just that, we'll hand it back over to Kate and Brock. All right, thank you, Coach, and we are back and about set to begin the second half. <laughs> Bath 
pass now to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. situations both sides feel good is the offense i get a completion i get a win is a defense i keep everything in front of me i make the tackle for a short game i get a win too sometimes you can't get to win win first and ten it's lawrence taken in by kirk right side and they'll take him down at the 43 yard line Six coming up here. They'll give this up the middle of the ETN. And this one does not go far. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up with third and four. position of the quarterback, Kate. Sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Lawrence working from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. Decent game here, but short of the first.
drive will start out with a first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Connection made to Shakir. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Coleman with the grab. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. A seven yard pickup, and it moves the chains. New set of downs for him at the 38. Allen now on first down. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts are just so imperative and the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They motion the tight end over. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Back to throw now, Allen. He's got it. Room to run. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and a defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. Offense to the line for second down. Allen setting up to throw. He'll get this to Samuel. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. So now here's third and five. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Quick hitter complete. Jukes one defender. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. That's why you often see some mix, some high percentage pass plays on first and ten. You got to keep a defense honest. They're always looking for a run in that situation, a chance to stack them up for second and long. Offense to the line for second down. Sending a receiver left. Second and 13. Pass complete to Cook. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. So now here's third and five.
Shakir in motion right. Allen on third and short. And the Jaguars are there. He's all down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that gets him back within five. Listen, all he could do is make the kicks he's called out there to make. They need extra points from him, but for now, he's able to handle his third field goal of the game and just inch them a little bit closer. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Has this at the six. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. receivers here Kate because nine times out of ten you see a run like that in this league ten plus you know those guys on the outside are doing their job shining as blockers keeping those defenders away from the back first down throw Lawrence escapes it but there's too much pressure and he's brought down and a big play drives them backwards second down coming up and right there's the danger Kate when you put the ball in the air times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run right you gain some steam on the ground you stick with the ground game they don't they call the pass and the defense reacts and reacts well with a sack back to the line they go it's second down only one quarter remains in our final game of the week that's the end of the third it's Jaguars football with a slight lead. Just got to hang on to it for one final quarter. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. In 
inside handoff goes to Etienne. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. They get three on the run. Put a one in front of that now as it brings up third and 13. That shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. Cam Little now in a high pressure spot. From the left hash, this is from 47. Kicked well, and this is good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one score ball game. As much as that can help them breathe just a little easier on the scoreboard, it doesn't take away now any of the tension this defense is feeling. They're going to need to step up, come through with a stop right here. On now is Cook to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And they'll be happy about where they're about to take the field. He's up to the 35 on the return. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Second and three now. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And that one's behind him. That's incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Here he goes on the bootleg. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. To the air again, Allen. Fails out of the pocket quick. He tucks it and takes off. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. As much as you'd like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. First and 10 now from the 30. Play action now with Allen. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. Trying to find his tight end. So it'll be second down. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's going to get this to the 29 before he stopped. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. Hey. 
Another one for Cup. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. fourth and inches. They'll go. Allen. That's cut beyond the marker. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. It's an 11-yard gain to back up the considerable gamble there on fourth down, and they move those chains. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Shotgun give to Cook. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. And he's brought down at the line. Ball spotted right back at the line, so no gain. And now they've got to get nine on third and goal. Boy, is it tough to fool this defense with how well they read and react to these plays. Held the line, and the QB keeper gets nada. Slot receiver headed left. Third and goal for Allen. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. You know, that type of play is so doggone impressive, not just because it saves a touchdown. He had timed that perfectly to knock it free without drawing a flag or letting him establish possession for the score. Big moment for Tyler Bass here. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And Bass brings things a little closer here late. In that close, kicks have to be automatic. That won't stop the head coach, though, from holding his breath for a couple seconds until he sees it's up and good. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Here's a return from the seven. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Jaguars and Gabe Davis ready to go to work again offensively. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. until they finish this series off. It began at the 30 and has now jumped to first and 10 all the way down inside the red zone. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. A gain of three, and now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal. 
so often one of the things you have to teach running backs at the NFL level, you don't always have to hit a home run, especially in short yardage situations. Just go get that single and move the chains. Elron, ETN. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars make it a two-possession game here in the fourth. Travis ETN, the touchdown. Little for the extra point. That's up and through for the point after. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Has this at the six. His return makes it up to the 25. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Operating from the gun. It's Allen. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Foyer O'Rourkin with the pick. And the Jaguars take over after returning it inside the red zone. Going down the middle, as you can see, you're giving them a real chance at making that pick. Might be a case of trying to force one where he shouldn't have. And you're sure hoping as a quarterback you learn your lesson on that one. The Jaguars then running back Travis Etienne trotting back out to the field. And I'm pretty sure, Brock, they hadn't even all sat down on that sideline yet to rest. And now they're right back out there with a great chance to repeat their last touchdown. And you will take that every day of the week and twice on Sundays. You don't <laughs> mind at all. You got that defense right now reeling after the touchdown. Look at where they start with the football now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They motion the tight end over. On first and ten, here's Lawrence. Into traffic, complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Out of the gun, Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Could have been a touchdown, but all it is now is a third down. Well, this will actively age a coach on the sidelines. Wrinkles and gray hair, all of it. All the planning, a great play. A careful execution led to that, and it was dropped to the turf. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Motioning the tight end now. Third down, wants to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. first and goal right a lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk even if a run is stopped short you still got two sometimes three downs to play with 
It's second and goal. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Jaguars with a comfortable 12-point lead. It's second and goal. Kirk comes in motion right. One more time with ETN. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Jaguars make it a three-score game in the fourth. Travis ETN, the touchdown. And he is all smiles down there. He's got his second rushing score this game, and they've got an even bigger lead in this second half. Well, we know it because we call these games week to week, Kate. Almost every single one of them seems to be a one-possession <laughs> nail-biter. To build this kind of cushion and to do it with the strength of his legs, yeah, they're worthy of those smiles down there. On his little for the extra point. That's up and through for the point after. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. And they'll take it at the 30 as the kick bounces out of the end zone. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. First and ten now from the 30. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising, quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Into a ton of traffic, and this one. Jaguars will get it back with some time to work with. We reach the two-minute warning. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they got in for picks in this game, and he's got to be careful. Right? You've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense, and this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. The Jaguars, then running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And he gets a few on the punch forward. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. ETN again. And he's 
tackled with the first down yardage. They're set up at the 35 now. Going to the ground again on first. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. They celebrate to the booze of the home crowd. I'm sure you're having flashbacks, buddy. It's got to be music to their ears hearing those fans voice their displeasure. It is so sweet, Kate, when you win on the road for a couple reasons. Yeah, yeah I, I do remember. I, I remember silencing those road crowds. There's no better feeling than to hear, you know, those boos and those cheers and all that noise just silenced because you beat.